Previously on Football Manager 22, rebuilding Barcelona. It was virtually my B team. We lost 2-1. We was winning 1-0. But after half time, we just... Well, after that goal, actually, you can see down here on VXG, we stagnated. We just went and then they started, They got for goal. They stagnated. Just no one can make a breakthrough. And suddenly they made a tweet and they got for goal. We're at home. We're playing Real Madrid. You can't get any bigger than this. Right, so half time, it is... A very tight game. Can't guarantee that we're going to score. They're going to get it, aren't they? Good goal. Let's win those headers. Oh, Pedri. No, 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 no. What the f***? Oh, I'm fuming. I am fuming. Did everything right in that Good game. Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the fifth episode on our Football Manager 22 Rebuild in Barcelona series. In this episode, after a 95th minute heartbreaking goal against Real Madrid, we look to bounce back in our Champions League game against Monaco. If we win, we qualify. If we lose, our next match is against Man City, and we could be looking at dropping into the Europa Cup. If you wish to watch more amazing videos like this one, and further content from Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. Right, here we go. Monaco. So, next match only, as we always do. Do it. So, opposition obstructions. I need to learn about them. Maybe if I actually start reading them, and then I probably know what I need to pick out. But, end of the day, I pay people to do this job for me. So, why do it myself when I need to pick the team, do the training, and basically be responsible for results, right? If we really, really struggle, and then I might have to just take full control. And then it'd be my responsibility. Right, it's another big game. We have to keep on playing our top players. We could, there's no time for resting these players. So Dembele, Coutinho can come in. Depay, Demir. What I might do is just put Coutinho on for left. I think that will work well. Yes, it does. Guerrero is starting now as an advanced forward. So hopefully he'll have a better game. He is playing awful. How much do they pay him a week? I know he's retired now. 60k. Another player I'll get rid of if he doesn't perform. And everyone else is performing okay. Apart from Dest, any others isn't available yet. Okay, keep an eye on him and Arrigo. Doing all right, though. Doing all right. All right, next match. Let's go. Monaco must win game. We are away. I am playing my balance formation. Again, we can drop down to custom, but I, sh oh, I didn't go through my formation with you. Oh, I can do that now. I thought I pressed... Um, Submit team. That's fine. So what have I done? So I spoke about this before for Real Madrid game or during for Real Madrid game. But I was looking at maybe dropping De Jong into this DLP. I've done something similar to my Norwich team and these three really, really work well. I don't know. I just felt like that as we're attacking, I just needed a bit more support with these two kind of and with Pedri just too far upfield. He can just kind of come back support. But not in defensive, but support in terms of the playmaking with De Jong. So we got DLP, advanced playmaker, and a Carrillo. So that's gonna work well. Also put our fullbacks on automatic and grower obviously advanced forward there for changes. In possession, what did I change here? Attacking width is still narrow. Playing through for middle, I don't know if that's the same. We're not playing short short, but we're playing shorter with high tempo and expressive. In transition, we still get counter press hold shape, but we're distributing to playmaker. Goalkeeper in possession. I don't know if I wanted him slow down pace or distribute quickly. I guess that can be changed depending if we want to waste time or we need to get moving. Trigger presses more often. And then what we've done is we've kind of just shrinked our team together and kind of be a contained unit and try and move up the field in phases and really keep that ball. So a higher defensive line with an offside trap and a lower line of engagement so that we don't get lost within the other team's defense and other players just, just have one helping out each other really and move through phases. That's a plan anyway. Let's see. I know I keep on changing my tactics all the time, but A, I want to experiment for you guys to see what, what's happening with tactics and there's no harm in changing it. I mean, we've got not bad familiarity at this time of the season. So by end of the season, this will be, or halfway through the season, I'm expecting this to be more up. As you can see, quite a lot of it's already fluid. So it's just 
tempo, trigger press and position roll duty. That's where I keep on changing too much. But I'm hoping that now that I've got this and further formation, we should be all good. Plus we still were at really attacking formation, which I'm still a bit hesitant on actually having. Uh, maybe we don't need to train that. What I'm actually going to do is put my cautious one in there. Because that needs to be trained. Yeah, look, familiarity is just awful. Yeah, we need more on that. Good. We are ready. Let's go. Just one change. Coutinho in for Fatty. Fatty needs a rest. Who's their threats? They've got two good little strikers, you know. Ben Yedda and Volland. Threaten them with them. they got a good little team. Fast Martins. Badu. Golovin in the middle. Defence. Not so much heard of for me. On for bench, anyone to come off? Fabregas, Diop, Sadibi. Yep, time to end this poor form. Let's go. We're away, so it's going to be hard. Right, let's hope for not a disappointment like for the last two games. 25 minutes in and we haven't had a shot. Oh, just as I say, Monica's corner. Just not getting for bloody ball. This is getting embarrassing. Okay, maybe we're just causing ourselves issues by having a lower line engagement and we need to push down and push up. Let's try standard. Something's not right there. Just seem to not be able to get the ball with... I'm just putting pressure on ourselves, they're going to score on me. Oh, that was... Oh, free kick. I was say, that was awful. Okay, now they're stagnating a bit. That was awful. A form... We are playing some harder games now, and maybe this is a true representation of our team. Gonna have to drop it down to this. And I've had enough of Aguero. He's done nothing. Put De Jong back on. Our top goal scorer. Last two games, I've not played him. Yeah, we haven't even taken a shot. Wanna see a change? Aguero off. It's awful. There you go. Two shots, two on target. But this is where they score now. We start playing better and they will score. No, come on. Just, oh, oh, this is bad. This could be our third defeat on the bounce. So I'll just have a think here. So Coutinho off uh, on for the pay and Fatty on for Demir. So it's first year front three. Petri is a shadow striker. It's just not working, is it? I will give a team shout as well. Fire them up. Some tough games. Some tough games. But worst thing is, is that we, in the last two games, we performed and we lost. And then this game, we're just not performing. Dijon? Nah. And Dijon. Alba. Dest. De Jong, Luke De Jong, Pedri, Fatty gone. Oh. Really good football, Barcelona enjoying themselves. But we can't get for goal. We're going to look at stats in a minute and it's going to be one of those laughs, right? First half, yes, fair enough, we was awful. Second half, we had 11 shots, 6 on target. Again, no goal. Look at that XG. Better than Monaco. 1.08 to their 0.76. Fair enough, we did not hold possession. We was away, wasn't expecting to. Yeah, passing wasn't that great. Tackling wasn't great. Heading was much better. Average rating was awful. Individuals. Tactics is creating. It's just our individuals aren't, aren't performing. And that performance is letting us down. Three losses in a row. 2-1, 2-1, 1-0. Maybe are tight games, but this is the third game we've lost. And for third game, we was a better team in terms of chances <laughs> I, I don't know what i do change change players i guess change my a team players need to be dropped because that is disappointing yeah time time to change this uh, for team selection it's not working i'm just gonna actually delete all of these not working Ch change a bit of a refresh yes it's been hard and yeah it's, do we keep it just for consistency and then i don't know i'm in i'm in a lot of different minds right now we're going to have to play a home and away formation with this team. Stegen, this is dropped. PK, that's the plan for right. Arujo. Would you play Dijon there? Would we play Dijon as a centre-back? The thing is, it's ball-playing defender. 
doesn't quite got for defending and heading, yeah. I mean, can play the fullback, Laudy, Alba's dropped. And yeah, we're saying automatic, but yeah, we go back to spawn that. To Jean. There's me thinking, you know what, I want to buy. I was looking at bringing last transfer window, Isaac. Actually, I might have to bring in a, a new defender. Because he's our weakest player at the moment. Squirts. Squirts is just not playing well. It's that don't think I like that. Corello. This is what, uh, so let's read this again. It is the job of these shutters to cover lateral areas of the pitch and link the defensive midfield area with the attacking midfield area. This is what separates the Carrillos from a box to box midfielder as they are not expected to shuttle between boxes, but merely between lines of midfield. That actually sounds like a Busquets type of role. We go to Busquets, we go to Carrillo. There you go, Carrillo. Is that getting the best of his stats? I think so. Maybe stamina is letting him down on that. I mean, I did have him as a central midfield defend. Uh, the blue one's a key. What else can we play him as? Carrillo did look good for him. Okay, just keep that, see how it goes. Advanced playmaker. Yeah, Pedri. Pay. Pay actually on for left. Dembele on for right, but it's not happening at the moment. Demir. And by form here. And then up top, it's got to be De Jong. But De Jong, I don't think, is an advanced forward. Could I play him as a pressing forward? Try him as a pressing forward. Let's try that. I have been playing him as a complete forward, so I could always change that back. Right. I don't know how this will work in our next games, but something needs to give. Because those reds, that's... Yes. I played my B team because I knew I had two big games coming up. Our B team faltered. We lost. We was away. Real Betis is a good team. And then Real Madrid, they scored in 95th minute. We was a better team. Monaco, crap first half for us. And then second half, absolutely dominated on chances. Just couldn't score. So very unlucky. But it's pushed me to go in and make some changes. Just to give us a kick in the right direction, I guess. Because in a couple of games time, well, in a few games time, we've got Man City. And that's a must win now. That is a must win. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.